Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this episode today, we're going to talk about how to set up Google Analytics in Squarespace, specifically GA4 and how you get it set up on your site. It's a little bit of a workaround at the moment. I hope they fix this soon, but I'm going to show you how to do this in a few easy steps. So let's begin. Right before we begin, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It tells the YouTube algorithm a lot of good stuff, but it also tells me that you find value out of this video. Okay, so first, this is the sample website that we're gonna be using. It is built on 7.1, all right? And so we're gonna go into Google Analytics. The first thing I'm gonna do is, if you're starting out here, you just gotta type in Google Analytics into Google. First link that shows up, you should click on that. You'll be able to get into the account. Okay, so once you're in your Google Analytics account, the first thing you wanna do is click on admin at the bottom, or if you're creating a brand new Google Analytics account, you'll just click the blue button in the middle of the screen. And once you're here, it says create account. So you'll do that first, you'll come in here, give it a name. So we'll call this sample website. And then from there, it has a few check boxes, whatever, you could uncheck it, read it however you like. And then from there, click next. Then it's gonna ask you, so this new property setup is set up a little bit differently, but property name. So you'll say here, this is the website. So sample website. If your business is called, like our business is called Spacebar Agency, I would just put Spacebar Agency there. The time zone, the currency, let it be. Show advanced options, just let's take a look. Create a universal analytics property. You could do this, we're gonna do this in a moment. So I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna hit next. Here, they ask you about information about your business. You could fill it out if you want. I'm just gonna hit create. Then it's gonna ask you to sign your life away. You'll do that really quick, joking. And then you hit accept. Said permission denied, fabulous. I accept. I accept success. Wow. Don't know what that was. Anyway, once you're in here, you'll see data stream. Now this is new, but you'll see data stream. So you'll come in here, you'll click web. Once you click on web, it's going to ask you for your URL. In this case, I'm working with a sample website, but in your case, you want to use your main URL here. This isn't a make or break it type of thing, but you want to make sure you use your main URL. And when we're talking about SEO as well, you want to make sure it's HTTPS. Even if you don't sell products on your site, you want to make sure it's secure. So it always loads for the end user. So you want to make sure it's HTTPS. Here you'll add in your domain. I'm just going to add in this built-in domain here. I'm going to copy that, paste that there remove this because it already has that and just remove this at the end. And then here is sample website. Enhance metrics, this is checked off, that's fine. Click this settings here, this all looks good. I'm gonna hit save and then I'm gonna hit create stream. Now, once it does that, you get this page, website, web stream details. So here it gives you a few options. Add new on page tag because we've never done this before, this is how we're gonna do it. So you click here and you'll get this code and you'll hit copy. Now this is the big challenge. It used to be where you could just copy this stream ID and paste it into Squarespace, but now you can't do that anymore because this is a new setup on Google Analytics and Squarespace has just not set up that API connection yet. So you'll copy this and now you will go to your website. One caveat that you need to know is the only way you're gonna be able to do this is if you have a business account or higher. So the smallest package that Squarespace offers, you won't be able to do this because they don't give you access. It's a feature only for business class or higher. So if you click on settings and then advanced and then code injection, you'll see here that blue box, that blue box that shows up, that's what's telling you you can't do this unless you have business or higher. In the header, you paste that code and then you'll hit save and boom, you've added it to your website. You've added Google Analytics to your site. Now, as a side note, if you had Google Analytics on your site before and you did it through external API, if you had it here, for example, Google Analytics number, you'd wanna remove it so you could get rid of that. Also, if you had Google Analytics, this shouldn't happen, but if you had a previous code on here, you probably wanna remove it if you're creating a new account. So Google Analytics is set up. You could go back here. It takes time for the data to start populating. Typically, before it used to be you could see it immediately. Right now you can't. So you can see it's set up, you're all good to go. Check back in a day or two, you should be able to see that the data is populating, it is working, and you have now set up Google Analytics on your Squarespace site. 
Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It tells the YouTube algorithms a lot of great things, but it also tells me that you found value in this content. If you have any questions, drop them below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.